Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here. And we're doing our permadeath playthrough. This is going to be episode three that you're viewing here. We're going to pick up right where we left off. Um, so we've picked up some more stuff uh, in our space station here. We definitely need carbon and ferrite to go forward, but obviously we can't buy it here. Uh, let me just check to see what this guy has. I don't think I've actually talked to one of these guys yet. Uh, let's see. Paraffinium, that's about it. Silver, phosphorus, that's not bad. Good stuff, but not anything I need. So we're going to go back to back home. Now, we don't have to take our ship to get back home. We can take the... I can get over the railing there. I almost lost it. Go in through the portal here and head home. And there's our base, current system. Off we go. The whole point behind this part of the mission is it's teaching you the basics of how to play No Man's Sky, which is why we tell folks that who are new to the game, please go through the storyline missions. It teaches you everything you need to know about the game. There are things it won't teach you that you pick up along the way, so just pay attention. Okay, good, good. We're storing energy. Looks good here. Let's go talk to our base computer. Archives terminated. Select new task. We're going to be begin decryption. It's going to decode 161616. 16. Message follows. The traveler finds their wings. Fly to us and claim your place among the stars. Okay then. Life signs detected. Whoa. Okay, where are we looking? Over that way. 48 minutes on foot. Let's go walk it. I'm kidding. No, we're going to take our ship. Now, little trick, something you learn along the way while playing this. Hover slowly across the landscape, and you'll see everything starts to populate, like the little rocks and the trees and things like that, right? You know these rocks contain ferrite, correct? You know the trees have carbon, right? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to first person view. Don't shoot the sentinel. Try to stay away from the animals and just shoot the ground. If there's rocks that can be harvested from the ground, it will pick them up. I'm not seeing anything just yet. So let's go someplace we can find them. Let's go over here to this darkened patch over here. Oh, hit an animal. Crap. It's not what I was trying to do. But if you can find a dark patch on the ground, it's basically what you're looking for. One of those uh, darker gray patches that have rocks on them. Try to head towards those. Especially if you're in need of ferrite. And you can use your ship's weapons to clear out some land. And you can gather some materials that way. Sometimes, if you can do it right, it's faster. Now right now I have a lot of stuff... turned off in my inventory. Like, there's a rock right there, and I can hit it, and I gather up the ferrite dust. I don't get a lot, but when you can come across those dark patches that have a lot of rocks on them, you can gather so many minerals and materials. See, like these here, I just gathered up ten. It wasn't doesn't seem like much, but over time, you can get a lot more. Especially if you can get, oh boy, if you can get like a uh, What's the scatterblaster version of the weapons on the ships? I can't think of it off. Positron Matrix. If you can get one of those on your ship and just shoot it at the ground, man, the resources you can gather with one of those is fantastic. So we're not getting much ferrite dust right now, so I'm going to hold off on this because this is not being very fruitful to me. Oh, minute? Uh, yeah, let's go a little higher up into the atmosphere and we'll take the shortcut. Uh, binary system here. Wow. I swear, I think the ship got slower. Ah, uh, you know what it was? I went up on too, too light of an angle. Oh, great. We got a pirate in the area, so that means he'll likely attack us. Um, I think I know where we're going. Do you? And it looks like we had a building to my side there. That might be a decent building to maybe find a uh, ship, a wrecked ship from. 
That just means money to me. Yep, there is. Yeah, we will be heading there soon. Alright, let's check this thing out. Log damage, potential records available. The signal is led me to the wreck of a freighter, colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but the misfiring circuits of a long forgotten ruin? Nestled among the debris, I find the pilot's log, blinking, awaiting input. Quest log. Instead of displaying the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They are followed by a short message. The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. A schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message, so we're going to take the blueprint. I pull the blueprint from the computer, but this hyperdrive blueprint is for a conventional starship, not a freighter of this size. Someone placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be found. So now we have our hyperdrive. And guess what? Remember those uh, microprocessors I got? Now you know they're very handy. So I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to move the shield over here. We're going to put the hyperdrive right here so we can get it surrounded by upgrades later on. And we need to make a warp cell. So we've completed that. Let's let it go ahead and discuss it for a second. You know what freighters are good for? They got stuff that are expensive stuff and we can make money here. So let's go ahead and do that. It wants us to craft antimatter. But before we do that, we're going to go into these cargo pods. We're going to get rid of the viscous and goop. But you want to leave here immediately. I got an antimatter housing. Get out of the way because it will dispense... Radio, radi uh, radiation that will kill you over time. Get rid of this. What else we got? Nanites. But you notice, watch. See? You want to get out of the way of that. Fast. Now, the other ones are down below. If you look through here, you're going to see there's a cargo pod there. You can dig down and break through stuff if you want. But normally, all you have to do is uh, highlight it so you can see it. Go into first person view and just get close enough and you can access it. But you're going to have to get away quickly. See? We've got more nanites. There should be a unit right here. There it is. We're going to do the same thing here. Get out of the way. Yeah, we're getting a lot of nanites here, which is very unusual. Usually you get a lot of stuff. Like, very expensive stuff. But we're not getting anything. There should be one right here. There you go. Whoop, a little too far. Okay, you get this one. Oh, well, that's nice. I don't mind 70,000 units. There's one more. Should be right there. Now, traders like to land near here, so keep an eye open. When you land by a freighter, traders like to, to land nearby. And there we go. Last one. Be nice to get something nice out of one of these. Oh, more nanites. Okay. There we go. Okay. Back out of first person. So all we got is nanites out of this one. It was kind of lame, if you ask me. Okay, so we need to make warp cells. How do we make warp cells? To make warp cells, we need one antimatter housing, which we just picked one up, and we need one antimatter. Antimatter we don't have a recipe for. So we just have to return to the ship, and what should happen, we have to scan for it. So we're going to hit C, and let's scan for the antimatter. Now, before we go further, let's check out this building, because it should have crashed, unless it's an abandoned building. It is abandoned. But we're going to check it out anyway. I should have just stayed put, because I think we can still find something in this building. Always check there. After a while, you won't have to do it as much anymore. More nanites. The hydrogen jelly. Nice. Carefully. See the exclamation point? That means there's a tentacle inside. It's going to smack me. It did. See? It's right there. If you can get a good angle on it. 
Oh, there it is. A little bit below it. There you go. That way it can't smack you again. Get rid of it. Gather up supplies while we're here. We'll check out the forgotten terminal. Get rid of the goop on it, and it should give us something. Usually it gives us a story. It's not It's not important. Uh, it has nothing to do with our storyline here. So just go ahead and grab it. It'll give you something. Usually a data log. It'll give you usually... Um, it says something left to aid you in your journey. You see the nanites or technology. Yeah, nanites in this case, and usually over 100. Yes, very nice. So that was a good find. I really wish we could have found something here that would have led us to a ship, but hey, that's okay. So to get antimatter traces, we have to go use our starship scanner, and we have to be in space, or at least taking off. So let's head over here. We're going to use up that. We already used up all of our launch fuel again. We definitely need uranium one of these days. Okay, here we go. And scan. Okay. Where are we going? Over there. Copper, fesium, and silver. We do not have uranium on this planet. You know, the funny thing is, is the planet that we started out on had uranium on it, so we should probably head back there sooner or later and get some uranium. All right, there we go. Approximate location, so we're looking for something. Could be a crashed ship, could be anything. But we're gonna scan for a building here once we get close enough to the surface. Looks like we got one right below us, actually. You know what that is? That's the building I was looking for before. Let's go ahead and land here. That way we can use their parking space. May have a long way to run. Yeah, 1,200 units in that general direction, so. But you know what? We found this building here. And I think we can scan for a crash ship here. Yay, yes it is. Sorry, buddy. I'll take that. All right, let's see what we got. Automated plea for help. Okay, so 23, you double it, you get 46. Minus 1 is 45. Double 45, you get 90. Minus 1, you see how the pattern goes, you get 89. 89 is the same way. You double it, you get 178 minus 1. So 177 times 2 which is 354 minus 1 should be 353. So 1 is your answer. And we have a distress signal. Now, the distress signal could be one of two things. Most of the time, it's a crashed ship. But sometimes it could be a crashed freighter. So just keep that in mind. Um, that was weird. Where are you? 10 hours away. Okay, so we'll head over there soon and check it out. Maybe we'll find ourselves a decent ship we can take. All right, but we need to find this place. Uh, it's going to be about 1,200 units that way. Uh, we could call our ship in, so it's in a landing pad, so we should be safe. Um, have we scanned all the animals here? That looked like a new animal. How many animals have we scanned here? Let's find out. Four. Ground and three underwater. Ooh, we have an opportunity to get some decent nanites here. So let's get up there. This animal up here that we saw might be a meat eater. Excited by violence. Let's find out, shall we? Yep, he doesn't like people. All right. There we go. Okay, that way still. Let's head out. And I'm going to do most of this on foot because it gives us an opportunity to pick up technology, gather up resources, get some more achievements. It does take a while, I know. I think I have someone nearby. Just got nanites from now. Okay. So we're going to head up the hill here. We'll keep going. We definitely need ferrite dust and carbon, so we probably want to keep an eye open on that. Is that the same guy? No, he's timid. 900 units, we're doing good.
Yeah. Let's see. I'm not going to go with the secondary elements here. I'm just going to worry about getting elements I need. Like carbon, for instance. It's an unidentified plant, but it doesn't have a secondary element anyway. So we'll just gather what we can. Pretty good. Ah, that's a plant that will smack us. I'll grab one more carbon from this, because we're definitely going to need some. Oh boy, crying out loud. Yep, we'll go after ferrite dust after this. How are we doing? 777, so we're going in a good direction. It might be at the top of this thing. I don't know. Most of these direct up and down hills here, we should be able to get up in one boost. Let's see. Maybe not. Now it's allowing us to go straight up. That's good. If it doesn't, we're going to be in trouble. We're going to have to take him out. We don't have a choice because he'll attack us and we don't have anything to do with it. All right, where are we here? 670 that way. We angered the sentinels. Sorry we had to take out an animal, my friend. But it was necessary. Okay, good. Definitely going to be farther away from them than we wanted to be, but that's okay. Okay, we're just getting an angle going to be out that way. Don't know where in that mess, but it's going to be down there someplace. Hey, condensed carbon, which we know we need. I don't see any sentinels around, so let's grab these things. Oh, for Pete's sake. You know what? Let him look away. we let him far enough away? Let's find out, shall we? There we go. That's good. Off we go. So, see, you can you can fool them a little bit from time to time. Oh, this way, huh? That's over this way a little bit. Okay, let's head that way. So, if we can get to the water at some time... Oh, hello. I think we just found something. More technology... Without the busted machinery. Happens. Doesn't happen often, but it does happen. Silver, we don't care. Okay, it's over here someplace. Almost busted an ankle. 354, somewhere in this general area then. Over the rise, I guess, maybe? Didn't we just do our do our life support? Okay, we got us going in circles here. Because we ran for a ways and it's the same distance, so I'm guessing up the hill there. It looks like we got a creature there that's probably gonna end up attacking us. Uh though that's the attacking creature, I think. That's the gentle one. Still over this way. Okay, so we went around in a circle, basically. Gather it while I can before anybody shows up, right? Because this condensed carbon is like awesome stuff to get. But we definitely need to remember to get the ferrite dust too, because we need a lot of that. We're not getting a lot of it from these little guys, though. We need bigger rocks. Okay. Ah, there it is. The abandoned structure. Not the one I was at before, because this is obviously a different planet. 
Is there anything inside that's going to whip us? Yes, there is. Let's go to a different door. Okay. It's over there. Keep it down a little low. Boom. Gone. Okay. Search. Grab stuff while we're here. Okay. How'd we do? Nice. Okay, good, good. We've got a decent amount of carbon here. We definitely didn't need more of that other uh, stuff there. All right. Get rid of the residual goop. Let's see what it has to say. Terminal online. Selecting key, decrypting. Success. The terminal is clogged with an unnerving, pulsating slime. Nevertheless, it appears to function. As I touch the input panel, the alien substance reacts violently. I make a note to avoid getting closer. The device opens, revealing a single, unblinking crimson eye. It prints out a blueprint for antimatter, accompanied by a strange message. Take the blueprint. You will find us when the time is right. A bunch of 16s. Okay, so we have our antimatter formula, and we're ready to go. We need condensed carbon, so I'm glad I grabbed some along the way. We need to pull in our ship. We could head back to it on foot, but I think it will be better if we go ahead, and I'd love to grab some of these eggs, honestly, but um, we need to get antimatter. Um, pardon me, ferrite dust. Uh, let's see. I don't see any rocks. Let's pull in our ship. And while I'm here, I'm going to create another metal plate. I'm going to make a launch fuel. I'm going to make antimatter. And then we're going to make the antimatter fuel right here, the warp cell. And we're going to put the warp cell in our starship. It's not going to give us much of a charge, but it's a little bit. I think we can make one more. There we go. That should give us to a system. So we're in good shape now. All right. So launch fuel is going to be a problem at some point. Yeah, we're at 40% right now. Now, I want to head over to that ship, but I want to find water as well. Let's see. Let's get out of the atmosphere because it's too far away to do anything with. Come down and take a look. Stop it. So we got water to our left. We want to discover those creatures. That'll give us a great amount of nanites. But the ship is going to give us a lot of money. <laughs> So let's check out the ship and see what we got. Now, for all I know, we've already found this ship, but let's see. Maybe we'll get some decent money out of it, right? And... It's an empty spot. I'm guessing it's a ship that we've already got found. No, wait. Is that a fighter? Yes, it is. Ooh, we likey. Uh-oh. Tell me there's nobody here. Let's find out. Nobody here. C-Class. It's really not going to be worth a lot. It does have a technology supercharged slot on it, but it needs repairs. We'll get money for it, but it's you know, it's only worth five million, so we'll probably only get about a million for it. I'm going to go ahead and claim it. Let me just reclaim this ship here real quick, because that's where all of our supplies are. Hello. Seriously? Got a sentinel nearby, too. He's going to hit me. Oh, my other ship. Okay. Should have enough to get up here. Oh, for crying out loud. An ugly looking creature. Can I make f food yet? No. Oh, you jerk. Alright, we're going to have to get out of here. i got to at least get away from the sentinel before I shoot him. Good 
because I would love to have the technology from it. I hate to do that. It drives me nuts. Okay, distress beacon. I'm not going to read it. It's not part of our storyline. Uh, data banks or functioning technology. Let's go for technology. Hazmat gauntlets. Interesting. All right. Okay. Yeah. Probably should have just went for other stuff, so we decreased our standing with a with our faction, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that. Okay, projectile ammunition, and where did that technology go? There we go. Let's grab that. Okay. So all in all, good stuff. Let's see if we can create we if we can make things to fix this with. So we need a metal plate which we don't have enough ferrite dust for. We need a dihydrogen jelly, which we've already got. We need a hermetic seal, which we can make. So we'll put the hermetic seal in. We need what? Pure ferrite, 50 of that, and we need a metal plate. Uh, let's see, I need a rock. Is that a rock? It's not a rock. Unbelievable. You can't find rocks when you need them. I mean, there's plenty of dirt over here, but I don't have any rocks. And that's too big of a rock. Uh, looks like we got a few over here. Yeah, there's some rocks here. Alright, because we definitely want to make that. I can't believe we don't have enough, enough ferrite already. Geodes are good to get from the rocks. Okay, good. Metal plate it is. And now we need to make some pure ferrite. And we don't have our... Great, and there's another one of those creatures. Unbelievable. Drop this down to 50. There we go. Go. We can make another metal plate. Let's fix our starship one more level. Okay, we just need the 50 f pure ferrite and we're done. There we go. And now we can repair the ship. So the ship is now fixed. And it has a fuel, a full launch fuel, I think. Let's find out. Yes, it does. So let's use it. We're going to head for the ocean. I mean, I'd love to keep a ship like this because it is a nice fighter and everything like that. But what we need to do is we need to get to the ocean. We need to discover our three more animals. Of course there is. Oh. This could be the end of our episode. What do you know? So what we're going to do is I'm going to do something different here. Weapons. I'm trying something. It worked. Son of a gun. So you'll notice I diverted power to my ship's weapons when I did that, right? And I got them balanced now. So very, very interesting that that actually worked. I thought it was going to be the end of the episode, but possibly the end of the run, but it worked.
Very interesting. I'll have to remember that. It's a new thing I've found out. Check out my video on that when you get a chance. It's part of my video library, the main library. All right, we need to find three underwater creatures. Yep. Any time now. There's one. And another one. In the wrong direction. There's some more. There we go. Now we got somebody. There's one. None in front of me. They're going to be all on the other side of the island. Two. Okay, that was very fast. Did not expect it to go down that quickly. Alright, so we got two. We just need one more creature, and it's on the other side of the island. Oh, there we go. Nope, oh, that's not it. Oh, come on. There we go. Three. That should be all of them. Yep, it is. Excellent. Go to our discoveries, and we got 2,000 nanites. Look at that. Sweet. All right, we're in good shape. Uh, see, life support's a little low. Let's go ahead and get that boosted up. Let's get on our ship. Giving us our accomplishment for the finding of all the animals on one planet. So we want to head to the space station again. Let's get out of the atmosphere. Glad the, the, the weapons on this ship was working. I'm trying to figure that out. Yeah, look at that. They were working. I got very lucky there that they were even working at all. I got a suspicious starship shield out of that. Fascinating. All right, good deal. So that worked out. Almost want to keep the ship, but... Our other ship is a fighter as well. And we know to adjust our settings as well. Because obviously we couldn't have boosted our shields on the ship. It no, doesn't have any. Alright. Let's head in. Alright. We'll get rid of the ship, which will bring our other ship up here. No, I don't want to upgrade. I'm sorry. Let's try this again. Flame scrap. 1.5 mil. That's not bad. Oh, I need three slots, huh? What do I have in our inventory? Holy moly. Yeah. Hmm. That is a problem now, isn't it? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. There we go. Scrap. Scrap. Alright, we got it now. Now we probably got an upgrade out of it, or two. Infra knife module and photo pho photon cannon module. Um, you know, I might actually install that. Let's just do it one more time. Hold on. Got to wait for the Radiant Pillar to actually show up. There. Are we close enough now? How about now? <laughs> it's out of range, huh? I'm in the ship. <laughs> that is hilarious. All right, we'll, we'll go ahead and just wait a moment here. It's obviously glitching out on me. That's hilarious. We'll sell the stuff we've got. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to keep the storage augmentation, of course. Um, there we go. Spool of nano cables. Uh, Subatomic regulators. That'll give us the million, and there we go. Okay, so that gets us up to close to 5 mil. 
And what do you got for us? Anything special? No, didn't think so. All right. Can we find our ship now? Hey, it works now. Okay. So we're going to do this. Let me just move some stuff around. There we go. It gives us a little bit of a boost. It's not much. It's 2,000 now, but it's at least a better fire rate. Uh, what do we got? This is Infra Knife Module. We'll sell that, 60 nanites. This is a ship shield. What does it give us? Ah, eh, 14%. That's good. Good, good, good. All right. And we're going to put this in our ship. Sell that. All right. Not bad. Of course, uh, what we could do... Is we could not do it here. We're going to go on the other side, and we're going to see if we have some upgrades for our scanner. Because we really need to make more money at scanning creatures. I think the... Well, I don't even have any idea why it's choosing that. I'm standing in front of this, and it chose that. A-Class. Nice. I can actually buy it. I have enough money to get it. It's got three supercharged slots, it looks like. To begin with. It's got a geology cannon, which is good for gathering minerals. We've already got a bolt caster on board. Mining beam, good. It's combat scope as well, which we don't really need. Hmm. It's actually conceivably a good idea. But I always know it will be here, so I will come back. Let's look at the upgrades. Ah, I still can't buy any upgrades. Okay, that stinks. Thought we were past that stage already. I'm guessing you're the same way, right? I thought he was turning his back on me. Oh, he'll sell me stuff. What do you know? Photon Cannon S-Class upgrade. Hmm. And a Starship Shield. I'd love to get in for knife. That would be great. Uh, let's do the Photon Cannon, I think. It would be a good idea. We'll get rid of our C-Class upgrade. Um, and I think a Shield upgrade would be a smart idea as well. We can always pull them out of the ship later, keeping that in mind. Unbelievable. I can't believe I hit that. Uh, let's see. So this is a C-Class. I'm just going to uninstall it. Hey, we get some cadmium out of it. That's good. And we've got a battery. I'm going to put that in my exosuit. Uh, so let's see. We're going to put the shield on here. That is giving us a 30% increase. So let's move you over here. Move you here. We really need to upgrade sooner or later. But that increases our shield strength significantly. That's nice. And then our upgrade for the weapon was at 2,000 before. It is now at... 2200 so that'll give us a boost to that too good all right we definitely need uranium i think i'm going to stop by that planet and get uranium because that'll be a good idea to plan ahead uh do we have anything over here we can get gather from my jetpack maybe b got some life support module oh there is an s-class module upgrade Let's grab that. Shield radiation underwater. A toxic, and you got life support. I'm going to hold off on those because we just need the one for now. We want to be limiting what we get here. And that is how much of an upgrade? 200%. That's nice. It's not fantastic, but it's good. Very good. All right. Oh, while we're at it, let's get rid of that one item we have in our inventory. It's only 60 nanites, but hey. It's gone. And I don't think there's anything there. Okay, good. All right, good. So our inventory is looking a little bit better. We definitely need to upgrade it at some point. So we'll worry about that as well at some point. Um, can we not talk to you still? Even after all that, can we not talk to you? Nope, can't talk to him. Unbelievable. All right, well, it is what it is. So we're not going to warp to another system yet. We need some uranium. Let's go get some, because that'll recharge our launch fuel. And we can start using the Starship launch fuels all the time. Let's get away from the station just a little bit. So our planet is going to be 
Not there. And I don't think it's that one either, right? That's the airless one, I think. Yes. Let's go over here. That one? Hopper? No, that's not the other one. So it's going to be the furthest one out. This one, the one that we started at. So we need some uranium. Get lined up. There we go. All right, so we need uranium. Let's grab some of that while we're here. And then we'll warp to a new system. And we should be on our way. And when we get to that new system, once we uh, settle in and everything like that, we'll figure out what we're going to do at that point. All right. Realize how far away it was. But I consider it necessary. Hopefully no storms are going on right now. Doesn't look like it. I think we're safe at the moment. Looks like we're gonna hit the rings right at the edge. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, look at that. Isn't that neat? <laughs> Straight at the planet. And we keep a close eye open, because sometimes if you're fortunate, you can find yourself a landing place. Ah, home sweet home. Let's go down lower. We want to look for the telltale, telltale signs of a deposit, which are going to be the shiny lump in the ground. Sometimes you have to go a little bit slower. Look on different angles as well while you're flying. Now that I have the ability to do that. Oh, what's that? That might just be copper, but we'll go ahead and land anyway. Oh, they got a sodium deposit right in front of me too. So this deposit is uranium. Isn't that special? Let's gather it. Oh, I'm sure the radiation protection is falling, dear. Thank you. Looks like a good deposit, too. So as much as this we can get, I'd like to get about 400 of it or so. Four to 500 would be nice. Is that... Very technology underneath this deposit? Oh, that's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Playing this for, what, three or four years now? And I haven't yet to see it. 2,500 hours, 2,400, 2,400 hours worth of playing this, and that's the first time I've seen that. Now we're halfway to our goal. Yes, very good deposit. Yeah, I know. I know it's falling, dear. What happens? Oh, I must have hit some silicon. Yeah, sure enough, look at that. Unbelievable. we got. Let's check. Oh, we're literally beyond the 500. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this. Very handy. Now we needed carbon. We don't need salt. I'm always doing that. I always hit that stupid, stupid salt deposit. Carbon. No rocks. Well, these little itty bitty ones that are worthless to me. 
All right. Well, that's okay. Let's get in. All right. So launch thrusters, we can now use this with. Good. And we're going to put the 500 over in our starship right now. We'll put you over there, too. We're going to delete you. Very good. All right. Let's go to our new system, shall we? Off we go. So I'd say we're in pretty good shape, right? What needs to be charged? Pulse engine, sure. Let's go ahead and charge it. Warp. So it's taking us over there. Now what did we say we were going to do? We were saying we were going to go to a system, but we have to be careful because it will not allow us to just any old system. I don't know if it'll let us go to a... See, there's a dissonant system right there we could go to, but it's blocking us. So it won't let us go there. Anomalous signal blocking. So it won't let us go there yet. So let's just take the path. We'll go to our dissonant system when we get a chance. As soon as it allows us to do so, we'll do it. We'll do it. But for now, this is what we got. Let's just be happy and satisfied with what we can have. So this is our first warp. New system, first contact. No one has ever been here before. Pirates are boisterous here. Starship monitoring system reports error. Guidance system malfunction. Searching for other routes. Searching, searching. Obtained. Destination, a whole bunch of 16s. Accept new guidance? Absolutely. Plotting route. On we go. So it's going to give us a... There it is. Fuel source detected because it knows we need more um, antimatter. We can make some more. I think we have enough items to make it with. But we're going to stop at the space station first. Before we head out to our new fuel source. Which is going to be in our next episode. What are we going to do here? I'm going to go ahead and check out some things here. We're going to upgrade our exosuit. Um, love to put spots up here. I think it's time. Um, I want to say this is a supercharged spot and so is this. Let me go ahead and put it here and check that. No, it's not. Oh, well. It is what it is. And we're not going to upgrade this ship because I know I'm saving it for another ship. All right, what do you got? You have movement module, which is what we were looking for. So we're going to grab that. And we don't have enough for anything else right now. So we'll hold off on the rest. That is a great thing. So there it is. 203. So that'll give us a nice boost on planets. We'll be in really good shape. I really need a scanner module. Do you have any? I will sell something to you if you have a decent scanning module. You do, and I have just enough to get it. Excellent. And please, pray tell, it gives me what I need. Scanning range is good. Mineral and flora. Of course, not fauna. Fauna is where the money's made. You piece of work, you. I hate you now. That's okay. Don't really hate them. What do we got for ships? C-Class at 4 million. Doesn't look like anybody else. What's the economy like? Ah, uh, low supply. That means it's a very low economy here, unfortunately. So, let's see what he has. I mean, if we got anything we can grab from him, we will. But he's probably not going to have a lot. No, he doesn't. All right. Well, good to know. So that's where we're going to lead this. Let's go ahead and jump in and out. This is going to save our episode. There we go. And we're saved. So that is the end of our episode here today. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so this was episode three. Uh, we did a lot of character building at this point. We got a lot of supplies that we needed. We fought a pirate battle and came out on top without dying, which is always a plus. So we are doing pretty good. I'm looking forward to our next episode, and uh, it's always going to be on the week. It'll always be on Wednesdays. It always comes out at 6 a.m. Eastern Time. 
So again, uh, please hit that like and subscribe if you liked what you saw. And we will go ahead and continue on in our next episode. And of course, by all means, leave a comment if you have any questions or comments about the episode. Uh, thank you very much again for watching, and we'll see you all again next time. Take care, everybody.